Howdy folks, welcome to Yucatan Anglers TV, Yucatan, Mexico, inshore fishing television. I'm your host, Randy Bowser, and we are in our last show for 2021, episode nine, season four. I'm really excited, our 26th episode. So listen, we are fixing to load the van. Tomorrow morning at 5.30, we're getting up bright and early. 6.30, I'm picking up Gary, and we're gonna drive an hour down to Celestoon. We're gonna again hook up with our, uh, our friend and guide and captain down there, I, Eric Seton, I call him Captain Kino. And we're gonna take a half hour ride down to one of my favorite locations of all in Campeche, Isla Arena. Although we're going to a totally different new area this time, a place called Punta Cambalam. And this inshore fishery, I've looked at it, I've craved over it, and I'm hoping it might produce us some big snook and some big, big uh, tarpon. So y'all stay tuned, we're fixing to go fishing. Yucatan Anglers TV is brought to you by DOA Fishing Lures, the unfair advantage. Yozerti, fish the best. Eagle Claw Trocar. And Costa Sunglasses, see what's out there. Folks, good morning. Welcome to Yucatan Anglers TV, Yucatan, Mexico, inshore fishing television. I'm your host, Randy Bowser. I am fishing with Captain Keener today and my Captain Gary. We've gotten into the boat. We've made that hour trek from our home base in uh, Progreso here to Celestoon, and now we are getting ready to make a half hour boat ride down the coast to Punto Cambalam. Y'all stay with us. We're fixing to go fishing. Well, we've made our way to Punta Cambalam. We're entering the canal that leads in off of the ocean. We're gonna work our way back into here. Tide's coming up, so this should be really good. Really, really hoping we get to see and catch some snook and some tarpon up in here. We're gonna give it our best shot for y'all. This is beautiful. left that point it really started to close in and I didn't see much moving 
Eric said he knew a bigger canal coming in. This is obviously a bigger Rhea coming off the ocean. Easier for the predator fish to move in and out of. Come on. Yeah, there's one. There's a little sabalito right there. Ooh, look at him, look at him, look at him right there, Gary. Get in front of him. Come on. Oh, God, he went right for it. He's, he's on it. Oh, I got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it. Yes. Throw, oh, he come right off. That was cool. That was cool. I had three or four of them trying to attack it. Three or four of them. Just wanted to eat that thing. A little DOA terrorized that green with gold flake. That was awesome. That was awesome. There was a whole group of them trying to attack that and finally one of them got it right here at the boat. Let's see if we can get him to do that again though. Just not seeing much way back up in here. There's moss, more Circa de la Entrada, closer to the entrance here where we caught that turpin. Barracudas. Adentro las dos, adentro las dos, yes. Pase más por allá, por favor. <laughs> yes. They're popping up in there. We're going to try to work back into this tight little pocket here and see if we can get one on.
Well, you just think there'd be snook all through here. I'm not seeing any tarpon, but just praying for a snook. No snook this morning. We've seen a couple in the mangroves, and that was about it. Well, folks, that's going to wrap up day one here in uh, Punta Canbalam. And you know, I have to admit that was that was kind of exciting. We ran into that group of turpin, got that hook up, got to watch them chase my lure. But I tell you what, that was just about it. We entered some uh, really cool entradas and just didn't see a whole lot. So we're going to come back tomorrow. We're going to give it one more shot. And hopefully we can get a turpin, a snook, a catfish or something in the boat for y'all. So y'all stay tuned. We're going to keep on fishing. We'll be back tomorrow. See you soon. Folks, welcome back to Yucatan Anglers TV, Yucatan, Mexico inshore fishing television. Day two of our Punta Cambalam fishing adventure. That was a good night in Celestun. We got another beautiful day here, flat calm. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make our way back into the, uh, into the creek, the second creek down from that point where yesterday we hooked up that tarpon. And uh, well, we're just gonna see if we see some this morning. So y'all stay tuned, we're fixing to go fishing. Here we go. Well, we're back into this, this creek. I'm not seeing that group of tarpon that we seen yesterday rolling through here. Hides down just a little bit. It'll start working its way up, so we should get a current moving. Hopefully, we can hook up a snook or a couple more tarpon for y'all today. At least that's the goal. Fishing in the mangroves. Oh, there he is. Turpin. Turpin on. I told you, Gary. <laughs> Man, 
No, sábalo. Oh, he's on, he's on, he's on, he's on. Little baby, little baby, come on. Little baby turpin. I told you this little creek would hold some fish. I got him, I got him. I got gotcha. you. Come on, little baby, yes. Yes, there's a little group walking. We caught some fish today, Gary. <laughs> Qué bueno. Well, folks, that's gonna wrap up our ninth and last episode of season four, our 26th episode. Gary, it was a tough one today <laughs> once again, no? Yeah, sí, sí, sí. Exactamente. But you know what? They don't call it fishing for a reason. <laughs> it's not catching. So we did have a ball. I mean, this is a beautiful area down here. We've been here before and has been really, really good fishing. So, you know, again, we'll make another trip back down here, here soon, possibly for our next season. So listen, y'all stay safe, stay healthy and stay tuned. And we'll see you next time on Yucatan Anglers TV. Adios. Yes. <laughs> Yucatan Anglers TV is brought to you by DOA Fishing Lures, the unfair advantage. Yozerti, fish the best. Eagle Claw Trocar. And Costa Sunglasses, see what's out there.